Okay, so today I'm going to be filming my August favorites. Um, I'm actually on time for something. And so I'm just going to get into it because I have a good bit of stuff to show you. Because I'm kind of mixing the July and August favorites. Because I didn't do a July. Yeah, okay, July favorites um, for you guys. I didn't do one, so I'm going to combine the two, kind of, sort of, in a way. So I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to start with beauty products because that's usually the typical thing. So I'm going to start with two nail polishes actually and they're both really really dark nail polishes. This is Licorice from Essie. It is the prettiest black nail polish color. I absolutely absolutely adore this color. And this next color I actually have on my nails. It's a pretty plum, dark plum, almost black plum. But it's from OPI and it's the Lincoln Park at midnight, not after dark, at midnight. The At Midnight's a lot warmer in tones, and it's very, very fall. So if you're looking for a good fall plum nail polish, I suggest Lingham Park At Midnight by OPI. It's amazing, and I absolutely, absolutely love both of those nail polishes. So next, I have two lipsticks as well. One of them I'm actually wearing. It is the Milani Lipstick in Black Cherry. It is the prettiest... I don't even know how to describe it. It's literally black cherry. Like, it's a dark cherry color. And it is gorgeous. I, I love it. And it, it works with my skin tone a lot better than most dark lipsticks. So, I'm actually really, really loving this. For the month of August. And then the next is a total transition from a dark cherry color. It is a bright red. And this is the Revlon True Red. So, it's a true red. Um... And this is just one of their regular lipsticks, I think. Yeah, it's the Color Burst one. So it's one of their original lipsticks. And I love this color. Love it. It is a great red transitioning into fall and winter. Um, it's, it was an awesome summer red, too. So I, I recommend this big time. Next is actually a product that I've been searching for a good one for a really, really long time. And it is a liquid eyeliner. I'm not a big fan of pencil eyeliners unless they're going on my bottom, my waterline. I'm not a big fan of them. So I try, or like under my, under my eyelashes, I'm not a big fan. So on my lid, I try to use liquid eyeliners, but I really haven't found like a really, really good liquid eyeliner. <laughs> So I picked up the Rimmel Glam Eyes one, and this is the best. <laughs> Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Simba? Say hello. My name's Simba. He bad. It's badness. All right, Simba. Okay, yeah, you can lay on my lap. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I have, uh, so I picked up the Glam Eyes by Rimmel, and I'm in love with this liquid eyeliner. It has the best applicator. Like, you never put too much on. Like, never. So, you literally, you can't apply too much of this. It's just perfect. I love it. So, if you're looking for a good liquid eyeliner, please, please pick this up because I recommend it greatly. And I'm actually going to be doing a review of a bunch of Rimmel products this, ow, um, this month. So, look for that video really, really soon. So, the next product is sort of a beauty product. It is the Revitalizing Eye Roll-On from Simple. This is the best thing to have during the school season. It's like a bug. Um, it's the best thing to have during the school season because... Alright, kitty. You gotta stop. You can't be in the shot. You up in the morning. It's really good for you. Simba? Simba! Sorry. I apologize for my cat. Um, so, it's really, really good for you. Um... And it has vitamins. It wakes you up in the morning. It's for sensitive skin, so it's really, really good. I, I recommend this to anybody who has sensitive skin and needs a under eye like um, caffeinator, I guess you could say, because this this really does work. Like it really does wake you up. Next product is a perfume, and this is the Victoria Tees perfume. Um, I love this perfume. I love it for summer. I love it for spring. I love it for fall. I love it for winter. I think it is the sweetest and most pretty perfume that you can have and it smells amazing like it it smells like sweet like candy and I love it it's awesome 
So the next product is eyeshadows, and this is the Smashbox Click Your It palette, and I believe this was the winter collection palette about two years ago, and I picked it up again, and I'm in love with all of the, oh, sorry, it's a mirror there. I'm in love with all of the colors. I think they are just the prettiest things, and they work for all year long. Like, you can, I'm trying to see if I have something to cover this up with. Yeah. So you can basically use all of these colors for the entire year like it's not just a winter palette although it works wonders in the winter like this is probably the eyeshadows that I use in the winter like these are the eyeshadows that I use in the winter they are the eyeshadows that I use in the winter and I use them all summer too so I really 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 recommend getting a Smashbook palette because they're very versatile and you don't just stick to one I guess you'd say tones, because there's oranges, there's greens, there's blues, there's plums, there's all kinds of colors in here, and I absolutely adore Smashbox's palettes. I think I've said adore probably about 20 times. So my next favorite is a actual, like, general thing. It's not, like, this specific one, but it's bath bombs. And I'm in love with, I'm obsessed with bath bombs anyway, but recently I've been taking a lot of baths and using bath bombs. And this is from Basin, so I got it in Disney World. And this is actually the Mickey one, so when you put it in your bath, the water turns yellow and little Mickeys, like, pop out. And I don't know if that's weird to some people, but I think that's actually really, really cool. Because it reminds me of Disney, and who doesn't want to be reminded of Disney? But bath bombs, I love them. They make your bath smell good. It makes it feel like you're not, like, sitting in dirty water, which is awesome, because <laughs> most people think of baths that way, which really it's not. Um, but I love bath bombs they're awesome and so the next like beauty products that the last beauty product that I'm going to show you are these makeup cleansing tissues from absolute I get mine from Marshalls and Ross so I don't know where you can really get these I've heard that you can get them from Walgreens but I get mine on discount because this came with four it comes with a vitamin C extract which is like lemon and lime and then pomegranate, green tea, and cucumber extract, and they are the best facial wipes I've ever used. Like, any facial wipes that I've ever used have never amounted to this. So I suggest getting some absolute makeup cleansing tissues. I check out your local Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, because really, they, they're cheaper, and it's the same product. Honestly, it's the same product. Hey guys, I apologize for the quick interruption. My camera just died, so I had to go charge it and come back and film the rest of this video. So I'm going to jump in really quickly before it dies again, because I charged it for about 10 minutes, so it probably will die in this video, but we're going to try to jump into things. So, one of my August favorites trying to transition into fall for candles is the Mahogany Teakwood candle from Bath & Body Works. And as you can see, I've burned to the wick. I've hit the bottom of this candle, it cannot be burned anymore, which is really, really sad. So, I I love this candle, and I could rant about it all day, but I'm not going to, because I'm trying to finish this video for you guys. So, next, I have two fashion favorites, and these are my little Oxford lace shoes. I think they are the cutest things ever. Um, I'm in love with these shoes. I've worn them probably a lot lately so I bought these before I went back to school so probably about three weeks ago and I love 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 these shoes they're so cute and I love them so much next I actually have like a clothing favorite for the month and it is this lacy dress that I just bought probably about three days ago and it is the prettiest cream beige color and it's so lacy so pretty and I can't wait to wear this for fall because it's long sleeve I think it'll just be perfect Perfecto. So then my last like beauty fashion favorite is my Anye bag and it is, I love this bag so much. It is the Etienne Anye bag and it is just red and dark brown leather and I'm in love with this bag. And I will do a what's in my purse video very very soon because this is really heavy and I probably should clean it out and what's in my purse video is the best way to clean out a bag. So that wraps it up for all the beauty and fashion favorites and now I'm going to tell you quickly my three favorite songs and my two favorite movies. My two favorite movies this month are 
Mortal Instruments with Lily Collins. I love that movie. And I love the books. So that the book and the movie are all my favorites for this month. And then I went and saw Getaway with Selena Gomez in it. And it actually was a really good movie. So if you're looking for a good action movie to take your boyfriend, your brother, even your dad maybe, it's a really good movie for that. It's not just like Selena Gomez. It's not a girly movie at all. I'm going to tell you my three favorite songs of the month. And the first one is Miss Moving On by Fifth Harmony. It is the best upbeat, catchy song that I've heard in a while, and it's been on replay constantly. It's a huge woman empowerment song, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, my second favorite song is Swim by Jack's Mannequin. It's just a beautiful song, and if you have not heard of Jack's Mannequin, go check them out, because it, they're, I mean, the music's amazing. And so, thirdly, Thirdly, my favorite song is actually from the Mortal Instruments soundtrack, and it is When the Darkness Comes by Coley Calais. It's such a beautiful song. So beautiful, and it really goes with the movie so well, and I love that song, and I've been playing it constantly. And I have not yet gotten sick of it, so it has to be good, right? So thank you guys so much for watching. Those are my favorites of the month of August, and I hope that this video will not be so long and that it won't be all choppy because my camera died probably about three times from